Hello everyone. Today we will learn about the topic front office organization in front office. So let's learn about what positions are in the organization and the operations that are held in front office. So the traditional front office functions includes reservation, registration, room and rate assignment, guest services, room status, maintenance and settlement of guest records, maintenance and settlement of guest accounts, maintaining guest records, etc. The front office is often organized according to functions with different employees handling separate areas. So the division that controls the front office has its own function and each division has its own functions. And in a small hotel, there are not as much requirements as there are in a large hotel. The positions in a large hotel include a front desk agent who registers guests and maintains room availability info. So the front desk agent lets the room availability to any of the guests that arrives. A cashier who handles money, post charges and oversees guest account settlement. So there is also a cashier that handles the money and he posts the charges. Anytime a guest avails a service at the hotel, he posts it to his account and oversees guest account settlement and sees to it that the guest account is settled. A mail and information clerk who takes messages, provides direction to guests and maintains mail. So there is also a mail and information clerk that takes messages and gives direction to guests and as well as maintains mail which means he keeps in check of all the mail that comes in. A telephone operator who manages the switchboard and coordinates wake up call. So there is also a telephone operator that looks after the wake up calls. A reservation agent who responds to reservation requests and creates reservation records. So there is also a reservation so there is also a reservation agent that responds to any reservation request that comes in and creates the reservation record. And lastly, there is a uniform service agent who handles luggage and escorts guests to their room such as the bellboys who assist the guests from their arrival to their departure because they handle the luggage from the arrival to from their taxi and when they are leaving. They also escort the guests to their car and in between when there are any amendments in the room, any room changes as well, they are room changes so bellboys assist the luggage in them. We will learn about the operations of the front office and the first is reservations. So every lodging property has its own way of managing the reservation request. So every lodging property has its own way of managing the reservation function. The reservation department is responsible for receiving and processing reservation requests for overnight accommodation in the future. So the purpose of reservation is to accommodate guest requests in a manner that maximizes the occupancy and increases the sales and profits of the hotel. The reservation agents should be true salespeople. They should convey the desirability, benefits and features of the hotel rather than just processing reservation requests. The agent should thank the guests for his stay and let them know how much they enjoyed having them and have a good and a polite manner to talk to them. The reservation, reservation function also, they maintain the accurate records of the guests. For example, according to their charges and the type of rooms they take and the services as well. And they should overlook that there is no overbooking done on their part. And especially when there are large group reservations, the front desk agent who works with the reservation closely should coordinate with sales department and marketing department as well, so as to ensure that there are no mistakes. Now, let's move on to the next one, which is communications department in the front office. So the communications department is also known as the EPBAX, which is Electronic Private Automatic Branch Exchange. And its functions are as follows. 
first of all they should maintain open channels of communication they also play an important role in any emergency protocols and they are the first ones that can inform to everyone that there is an emergency and they need to evacuate and react to the situation accordingly next up is they should maintain the equipment such as any sophisticated equipment that are in the communications department next is they should be able to make local or international calls directly from their guest rooms they also have additional requests like alarm call requests wake up calls wake up call requests they have voicemail services and do not disturb etc next up we have uniform services so in uniform services the first is bell attendants the bell attendants have the responsibility of providing baggage service to the guests from the lobby to their guest rooms their functions include transporting guest luggage from their vehicle to their room and in between for example in case of any amendments second is they familiarize guests with any of the safety that they might need next is they provide a secure area for guests in case they want to store their luggage temporarily they provide info on the hotel and they also deliver mail and parcels in behalf of the guests or for the hotel they also do the laundry pick up of the guests and then deliver it to their guest room and lastly they help guests with any help they would need so next in uniform services we have the door attendants the door attendants must be very well informed about the hotel's facilities and services as many of the guests that arrive at the hotel mainly ask about any of the local tourist attractions or they ask a lot of information in case they come to a new city so the door attendants have to be well informed let's learn about their functions so the first function is opening doors and assist the guests with their luggage the second is they help the guests unload their luggage the third is they escort the guests to the hotel registration area then they control the traffic and the vehicle flow in the front area of the hotel so as there is not a traffic in the entrance of the hotel and it interrupts the hotel's daily operations next is they also hail taxis on request then we have they provide the valet services and then at last they need to do light housekeeping around the lobby areas and the entrance on their work areas so next up in uniform services there is the valet parking attendance so the valet parking attendance is only available at the hotels that provide luxury or world class service there are specially trained people who know how to handle their vehicles and the automobiles let's learn about the responsibilities of the valet parking attendants so the valet parking attendants is like giving special attention and personal care to a guest and it can be considered as a luxury as well as a convenience and then all of the valet parking attendants they are responsible they are responsible for the security of the vehicle that is handled by them to the guests by the guests they are also responsible for the security and they should take care that no damage is done to the vehicle that is under their care next up they should also issue a receipt or a ticket to any of the vehicles and then keep the vehicle keys properly with them in a safe place lastly they should maintain charges accurately and of each vehicle so that the charges can be posted to their guest account so the next in uniform services is the transportation personnel the transportation per personnel is very popular in the airport hotels they provide transportation services to the guests from the hotel a transportation personnel must be well trained and be licensed to operate the vehicle that he is driving and many a times these drivers are the first people that the guests come in contact with when they come to the hotel so it's important for them to be 
polite as well as have good communication and good personality and be well versed in any of the local attractions or general information experience the experienced drivers also help the guests to load and unload their luggage the drivers should also be uh, confidential and maintain the guests privacy such as any conversations they must have they must not reveal to other people that the guest has disclosed to them the drivers must also know how their vehicle works so in case of any problem they can look to it the safety equipment of the car should be always ensured and the safety of the car should be checked regularly next up in uniform service we have the concierge service so the concierge service has the responsibility of providing the custom services to guests their responsibilities may include booking any movie tickets any event tickets making hotel reservations or restaurant reservations and they complete tasks like this to be a successful concierge they must know how to speak several languages they also have a network in their area with a lot of organizations with such as both national and international and they maintain a well connected network in some hotels the head concierge is the head of the uniform services and they also maintain the leadership for all of the uniform services in the hotel so now that we are done with the uniform services there are other departments that also work in close coordination with the front office department first is the housekeeping department the housekeeping department is closely coordinated with the front office department such as when a guest arrives they let the front office front office department know that like a certain number of rooms has been ready for the guest uh, check in and guest room assignment so as such they inform the front office accordingly at the starting of each day the front office maintains a list of the rooms that they, it is to be provided to the housekeeping department and the housekeeping department lets the front office know accordingly and they maintain a close relationship next up is the food and beverage services the food and beverage services maintains the maintains the service of food and service to the guests food and beverage service department has the responsibility of providing food and beverage services to the guests and their outlets may includes restaurant bars coffee shops kiosks etc next up is the human resources department it is not directly related to the front office but although indirectly related because they recruit people for the organization and they select people that are fit to be in the role in the front office department and as such they maintain a role with the front office department and a very important part is the sales and marketing division because they need to keep the front office updated about the room rates and any of the services in the hotel for example packages and catering services there are many various functions that the sales and marketing department have to perform to increase the sales and maximize profit for the hotel and lastly there is the maintenance department which looks after all of the hotel outside area as well as its aesthetic and maintains the equipment and helps the hotel to function smoothly in its daily operations so these are all the departments related to the front office organization i hope you have liked this video and understood the topic properly for more such videos please like this and share and subscribe with your friends thank you